Hey everybody, this is ZZ, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X 2. Now, in this episode, we are heading towards Beaconel Desert yet again. But why? Why go to a desert when last time we nearly died of dehydration? I can't read it up. I, it's pretty much saying suspicious creature detected, but not exactly because obviously you can read that oh, creatures are the nest. Start digging, really like you to go check out the oasis for me. Some strange stuff's been washing up there. I'd appreciate it if you looked into. We're it. actually getting <laughs> as funny as it sounds. We are actually getting another outfit. Yes. LeBlanc's goons decide to go to a bloody desert. Why would they go to a desert? Especially with Ormi's fat ass. Even though Ormi's not here, it's Logos, but... <laughs> Why would they go to a desert? I don't think they could survive. But they chose to. And I did We just... Appear at the oasis, where if you remember in 10, this is where Titus nearly drowned. Yes, Titus is so stupid. He plays Blitzball, can hold his breath for hours on end underwater, Look, but drowns in the deserts. Then we grab a random sphere off the ground. It's the Machina Ma Riku Special Dress Sphere. I find it funny that the only special dress for you don't get through these is pains. I mean, why would they just give pains in this like they do everybody else? It doesn't really make sense. Now, this is another part I don't get. We get to kill both of them. Why can't we take both uniforms? That does not make sense to me. I do not understand why we cannot take both uniforms when clearly we kill two femgoons right here. No problem. And I can say this because this is not Pokemon. We literally kill these people. And that was easy. Why can't we just take the uniforms and go? Why do we have to sit here and wait and watch and go find another uniform that we're not even sure where it is? Oh, I know where it is. Obviously, I'm playing the game. But we're not even sure where it is at this point in the game. We have to randomly guess. And I do love how they give you no hints whatsoever where to find these. I actually like that. Some people don't like it because it's not straightforward that the game holding their hands. But I actually like trying to figure things out on my own. Figuring out puzzle elements in games makes the game more fun and more immersive for me. If a game just tells you, okay, do this, do this, do this, it's like you're playing Simon Says, and I don't like that. I'd rather play an actual game that requires skill, knowledge, puzzle solving abilities, and all that stuff. I mean, I. I don't know. Puzzle games are fun for me. Like, Amnesia, it never scared me. I mean, if you guys saw it, I didn't go to the end of the game just because I didn't have that computer at the time of when I ended the series. I had it on there and I kind of lost the recording. So, yeah. Um, Amnesia is an example of one of those computers, is one of those situations where. That was fun for me. I figured the stuff out. I mean, I had other people on the call. They were distracting the hell out of me. But yeah, I figured it out on my own. And that was back at the time when Diablo 3 was really big and everyone played it, so they were playing Diablo 3 and that kind of thing. But yeah, I mean, no, quite also on. We can go. Now. We don't have the third uniform. Actually, we do. We do have third uniform. We do. Sorry, we do have third uniform. We get the third uniform here. Uh, yeah! This is one of those I hope this times works. that I really wish I didn't have to Worry record afterward. this scene. Okie dokie, let's change. Not this one, but this one a little bit later on in the same episode. Faking an entrance. This is not really that hard. It's not really a mission. You get in the suit and go in. You don't do huh? anything. Reporting for duty. Thanks. They're like, what? What? Who the hell are you? We don't even know who you are. Why you're here? What are you doing? Another smashing success. Smashing. Where's the sphere? Huh? 
Thank you, LeBlanc. Anything for you, love. Now I finally know the location of God, the enemy. Guys want to kill Sierra's themselves. Ride. Take care. This entire uh, yes. thing with LeBlanc and Nooch kind of sort of crashed me out a little bit. Just because Nooch wants to die. Oh, and all she know. wants to do is fuck that. These days without you, Part of me kind of wonders if she's into necrophilia, because that's kind of what it sounds like. Because he's, to himself, he is dead. Nuge to himself, Nuge is dead to himself. I'm saying that right now, Nuge to himself is dead. So, yeah, why in God's name would LeBlanc want to be with a guy that wants to die? I don't get it. The boss is a different poison when that nude guy shows up. Yeah, uh, she's not a colossal bitch. She's a natural charm and acting like some housewife. She must be tense. You. So being less of a bitch is, Shamba, is a bad thing? Days. I'm sorry. If I'm dating somebody, they're a complete you know, bitch. I'm going to call them out on it. I don't care. You do not be a complete bitch to every person you meet. If you're nice, yes, if you're normally a bitch and you're nice, it's odd, but that's not a bad thing, Logos. That's a good thing. You should be happy that she's not a complete bitch. Jesus, dude. Come on. Think, buddy. Think. Don't hold... What? That's how we don't hold back. What are we going to do? We're in the Blanc's room. There's LeBlanc, staring at a statue of Nude. Why does she have a life-size statue of Nude? And how do you get one of those made? That's what I want to know. I'm waiting. For what? How am I supposed to know what I'm doing? Pleasure LeBlanc. Now... Try listening to this scene without watching. Minimize YouTube for a minute and watch this scene. It literally sounds like the goal of this mission is to give LeBlanc a fucking orgasm. Even look at the top, it says Jack LeBlanc Satisfaction Meter. You are literally supposed Nothing. to give the woman a fucking orgasm oh. while giving her a massage. Because I don't know any person in the world who, if you give them a massage, will start oh. screaming like that. Oh, there. Watch where you grab, you klutz. Do it again. And the last one that I did got her off, yet she's still a bitch. You've got the wrong spot. Oh, there. This is literally just a guessing game too. You don't even know where you have to go. It's Not just there. I always start in the middle, and from there I go f corners. You do know that with blue. It's not close to. It's two spaces away from blue, one space away from a green, and one space away from a ye yellow. Right. So it's not in any one of those two side spots. Bottom corner. Seriously, look, I'll tell you guys, if you have not okay. muted YouTube yet, turn YouTube off and listen to this. Just listen to this minimizing YouTube. Keep it playing, but minimize it. Just because I want you guys to hear what I heard. The first time I played this, I know we don't pay attention to scenes a lot, cutscenes a lot when I'm playing games for myself. How did you get so good at this? How did you get so good? Um, I don't know. Yeah. And how does the block not realize that Juna's voice? She doesn't even try to disguise the fact that it's her voice. Blanc is just that stupid or that horny or whatever. Such a manly man, don't you think? Well, this is a good talk to have with Yuna, because they're both interested in technically dead guys. Yuna still wants to bang a dead Titus, who she's not seen in two years and is gone for good. Whereas LeBlanc wants to bang a dude who wants to die. They're both kind of in the same boat there, so that conversation with you and I could see happening. 
LeBlanc's not interested. I mean, LeBlanc. Nuge is not interested in spheres. Okay, Nuge is interested in asleep. stopping Vegnagun. He wants to find the spheres because he wants to find out where the hell Vegnagun is and how to get to him. I'm that good. Yuna, don't flatter yourself. The boss fell asleep again. One massage and she's out like a Thank you for that. Thank you for taking that for ego. Him. Thank you for taking that ego trip and kicking me right in the fucking nads with it, Logos. Oh, you're not that good. She falls asleep. Anybody touches her. We'll just have to Jackass. In the meantime, you go make sure the switch panel is working. Uh, switch? The back of the living room. The same one as always. Yes, now, you're literally telling us how to infiltrate your secret lair. And why isn't... No, wait, the switch panel is here with Seymour, which begs the question. What the hell did Seymour do in this place when you see what it looks like? Because I don't think it could possibly change that much into... But you never know, it could have. In two years, eh, things change. What does it do? Huh? It lifts up part of a wall. That's it? What a letdown. <sighs> and of course, re here's another one. Why are all the people, why are all three of them the same height when they are Who's wearing those suits? They make much sense when they're up with the boss. Boss? <clears throat> I've had this thing on too long. Let's change. Sure. Rihanna's secretly paying you want to work for that mighty LeBlanc. Just one of those things. You want to work for LeBlanc. Which would be kind of weird. I mean, LeBlanc's not wouldn't be a bad person to work for. It should just be kind of a bitch. This is brother. Oh, How's brother, it? shut the hell up. Brother, if I were you, I would shut the hell up before I shove a boot up your arse. Hmm? Oh, damn it, boy. Who's there? Ah! The Gullwings! What's with the reactions up so sick? Ah! It's the Gullwings! Welcome now. No time to kill you. And why is there two people there? That have no reason. And we're not in the last cutscene. <laughs> I don't know how this doesn't do more damage. You're literally shooting him with hordes of bullets. How does he not die faster? I don't know about you, but if I take a semi-automatic pistol and just continuously pop, 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 you die! You literally die! Why doesn't he die? I don't know why I'm standing like that, but it's fun! I don't know why I was doing there, just... Yeah, ignore that. But yeah, this is... You have to go into these two rooms because you get something in each one. Snake! Ah! This... Okay, when I get older, I want that in my house. I want to make machine gun snakes. So if anybody I don't like tries to get into my house, they could deal with the frickin' machine gun snake. That's what I want. If anyone knows how to make one of those, send me the schematics and I will make it happen. And in here we get heady perfume. That item's actually useful if you fight a lot of random encounters, but I'm not doing that. I generally will put on the charm bangle and not fight my random encounters. But I don't have a charm bangle yet that I know of. So yeah. 
Hey, this isn't the sphere they stole, is it? Let's watch it. Yeah, break into somebody's house just to watch a movie. Let's see. Total survivors of the final Crimson Squad selection. Exercise zero. Zilch and simple. Job done. Oh, you pinhead. Did you even count? Look, there are bodies missing. Listen to the voice. There should be three more candidates and their recorder. Do they sound familiar to anybody? Plus one makes how many? Four still live. Fix it. Now, you've never seen the faces of those two people talking. Did you say something? No, sir. A pig of no mind. However, they sound exactly like Logos and Ormi. So yeah. It's a dud. Only naughty girls scrounge <laughs> through other people's bedrooms. Why do they keep Well, this one I can no wonder why they're following us, because we're kinda of break into their secret lair. The boss's orders are permission enough. Logos, stop being a tool. No problem. At least probably like the fastest we've fought this boss fight before. And as always, I always take out Ormi first because he has the most life. However, he's not the most threatening. The most threatening is Logos because he has a special attack that could do a lot of damage. This! It can hit anything. It does not do a lot of damage, but it can inflict any effect on you. It can do an instant kill if necessary. So, yeah. That attack is fairly deadly. Very, 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 very deadly. And, yeah. With Logos, it's easy to kill, though. He only usually gets it off once or twice a battle. Normally, once or twice a battle. You never know what's actually going to happen just because of how Logos and Ormi are. So, yeah. Booby trap armed! No! Random encounter with a goon, a fan goon, and a machine gun snake that I am so jealous that they have because I want one. Why is it so hard to get a machine gun snake? It's all that I want. Are you guys listening? For Christmas, get me a machine gun snake. You send it to me, I'll pay you for it. I just want a machine gun snake. Hopefully someone knows how to make one and send it to me, because that would be friggin' awesome. <laughs> but just think, how awesome would it be to have a snake that shoots a machine gun at people I don't like. I think it would be very awesome. But then again, it's me that wants the machine gun snake, so yeah. And then, like I said, anybody watching this, tell me how to make one, because I want to know how to make that. I can automatically detect people, and if they're bad people, they die! That's what I want. I want some more security because I live in an area that's not really the safest. So yeah. I want my soul the hell I want one of those too. I would actually love to have my house set up like the booby trap of a um dungeon in a game, just because I think it would be friggin' awesome to just have your house set up like that. Someone walks to a certain room you don't want them in, you unleash the spike wall! Somebody does something stupid, what do you do? You send a machine gun snake at them! Now that would be fun! Anybody who thinks differently does not know what fun is. You don't think that stuff would be fun to use and see in action. Because I do. I think it would be hilarious to see that kind of stuff. 
So, yeah. Since this is my video, that's what I want! Since this is my video, I can say pretty much whatever I want. <laughs> so, yeah. Machine gun slay it is! I'm not even talking about this area, because this area is pretty much just a basic dungeon. You walk back, you walk back, you push buttons to unlock doors, you walk back some more, push more buttons to unlock more doors, continue to walk back, keep killing the same constant guys over and over again, and yeah. So, there's really nothing more that can happen here. Now, something I should bring up with my, my videos, I never block out comments, so even if a video is like five years old, I will still read and respond to every single comment that I get. So, and I made a mistake up your language. Let's do it. So if any of you guys watch any of my older videos, want to comment on them, I will comment on every single one of them. I only LP games that I have knowledge about, so I can, so I can discuss lore with you. I can go over. Um, Specific strategies here or there for them. So yeah, any game you guys want, I can go over. I got nothing against anything like that. Just leave a comment and I will discuss it. But your comment has to be in English since I don't read any other language. And for some, I got a lot of viewers from Sweden actually. Um. So yeah. I just hope that we can get out of this dungeon very, very soon. Because I don't like dungeons. They're just damp and murky and creepy, and I don't want to be in a dungeon, Molly! And I don't like dating my videos, so I don't ever say what I'm currently doing. Because then it'll make the video dated. I don't like doing that. So, yeah, I'm just gonna continue to ramble on about something for about the next no four minutes. And yeah, we're actually almost done with this dungeon. So, I tried to. The reason I'm doing this is trying to get the whole dungeon in one video because I don't like splitting up dungeons. However, there will be one dungeon that I will split up, but it will be. I will do this two ways. I will show just the boss fights in that dungeon. And then in a bonus video released the next day, I will show the entire dungeon. It may take me seven hours, Found it. but I will record it. Now I get it. I was wondering why they'd bother stealing half a broken sphere. Of course, they already had the other. Did half. it really take that much thought to figure that one out? Good loves. LeBlanc is not seasoned. A lot of trouble gathering those pieces. She's crazy, not necessarily Luigi. stupid. So don't you lay but a finger on. But she's stupid, but not as bad Let's as some others. Let's get him, boys. Yeah, boss. Man, this is the most we've ever fought these guys. Three. Consecutive fights in a dungeon. Look at them. And again, the same strategy applies. Kill Ormi, Logos, and then LeBlanc. LeBlanc by herself is nothing. She's so weak as I am funny. She's only as strong as the two people around her. So if you can take those guys out quickly, you will win this. It's not a problem. Unless they do that and interrupt your trigger happy like assholes. So, yeah. That protect really doesn't do much. She fires. She only attacks one target. When there's other times in the game where they will attack multiple targets with magic. Not these guys. These guys suck. But these are the primary villains at this point in the game. So why? Don't you just love surprises? Oh god. Oh god. Get lucky. Okay, you just silenced me. Okay, good. I don't care about silencing Riku, she doesn't do any damage. Or, I any magic, I should say, she's just some damage. Mach fan, that... It's just an AOE attack that is very, very weak. But at this point in the game, I'm still really overloaded. 
So, yeah. Ruby Wong, she's dead. See, she's really weak by herself. Well, want another helping of your just desserts? Riku, you broke no into their house, from down here. stole stuff from them, and then beat them up. I'll let you see what's Shut in up. This beer. Let us. Please, the sphere is yours to watch. Thank you. That was all we wanted. That was really all that we wanted. Why is it so hard, LeBlanc, to do that? We get one reassembled sphere. In the Heart of Light Garment Grid. And how do you put the sphere back together so you can watch it? If I were to snap an old VHS tape back in half, I don't think you'd be able to watch it again. I don't want anybody to try that, because I don't want them to get mad at me for busting an old VHS. So there's guards. More guards. More guards, and behind them, a giant machine with a face! But what significance is that face and that machine? Why are they showing it to us now? Find out in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X 2.